Kwan they do Uko Pramolo, a world the second, the Oba of Benin and members of the council that came here with you today, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Your Royal Majesty, let me on behalf of the government and people of Rivers most sincerely thank you for this uh, visit. I spoke with your governor yesterday uh, when he called me and I told him I was aware that you were coming. Unfortunately, I went to Abuja. You know, our job, you can be called <laughs> anytime. So when I got to the airport, I saw my people who wanted to, who came to receive you. But when I came back very late uh, yesterday, that's why I couldn't come to the house to, to see you very well. And I, I felt I should not disturb you at that point. You should be should have any rest, you know. So I thank you. And let me also congratulate you for the emergence of the upper of uh, uh, Benin. Um, when your father was alive, I was the Minister of State Education then. And that was the first time I touched, I came to the, the palace. And, and he gave me a lot of lessons about culture, about tradition. I, 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 I felt so happy. Your culture, your tradition is highly respected. How about a The, the place where I went to, the small house, the small house, I, 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 I know that you are one place that has kept tradition, culture. I felt so happy that there are still, we still have institutions that have kept to the culture and tradition of their people. We have not allowed a Western culture to infiltrate, to, 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 look, to make it look as if um, our own culture is not good, you know. So I felt, I felt very happy when I came to, to the palace, you know. And I'm also happy that we're having a robber who is well enlightened, well educated, who has traveled from, that's what it's supposed to be. That's what it's supposed to be. And I'm very, if we compare to what others have, you know that, of course, we're top. We're top. Uh, most of our majesties, are well educated, and I think we should we should thank God for for that. Let me use the opportunity to to say that traditional rulers, Majesties from the South South, should make sure that they they work together. There is no way the upper Benin should be a second class citizen to anybody. Yeah. There is no way the Amanabon or Fubopo should so class to anybody. There's no way. Therefore, whenever you gather, see yourself too as the topmost uh, traditional uh, rulers. Because I don't want a situation where our own people will be relegated to the background. They will hear another people's name. I don't want to mention them. But Benin, Asian Benin is not a tradition of today. This is very, very clear. So, I plead that as you are meeting with them, you should try to sing this to them, that we should not see ourselves as second class uh, citizens. We should not do that. We should not do that. And that will be a great way to help us. And I thank you for your initiative. And that's what I was told the River State Regional Rulers Council, which the chairman is trying his best. I've never seen where militants dictate what to happen in our communities, in our kingdom. I've never seen where that has happened. Like you said, the younger ones are now governing over the old ones. And that is, if you allow that tradition, we just. Uh, I'm not talking about politics. No, I'm not talking about politics. In these days, you see where people of no consequence will determine who will be a Tarina ruler. Forget the history. Forget the tradition. Simply because they have guns. It's, it's unbelievable. 
is unbelievable. And at original institution should not die. And so I thank you for the initiative you've taken in Benin, in the new state. Is they welcome uh, the development. And I and I pray to the chairman, my chairman will also urge his own uh, people to sit up to make sure that everybody comes up to make sure that the situation is very, very strong. These days we are afraid of death. But death will come. Nobody will run away from uh, it will come when it will uh, come. You cannot run away. So we must perform our roles, we must perform our functions. We must. We must. To keep that transition is very, very key. Very, very important. And also, do not run away. We have six states in the south side. Do not run away from the governors. Try from time to time to call us. In every state, you, you have a chairman. Not by the whole traditional rule that's calling us. If you have six states, you have six of the chairman of traditional rule, like as we are in those states, as it is in, uh, in rivers. The same thing applies in Aquaibom, in Cross River, in uh, 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 Babayasa. He call us. Not the whole traditional rule sitting with us, no. Call us. We will interact with you. We will tell you, look, these are things going on. You will be able also to tell us. See where we are going wrong. See what we think you should do. So we will speak with one voice anywhere we go to. And also, when you attend the, the Nigerian Council of National Rulers uh, meeting, it is the state that approves or recognizes who are the traditional uh, rulers. It is not that council that will recognize. So somebody who is not recognized in my state attends a meeting of the South-South traditional uh, meeting of the Nigerian traditional it, it does not make sense. You can imagine where the other is in a meeting. Somebody who is not a chief, recognized, comes to such a meeting. How will he feel? How will he feel? And people outside are those who are fueling such crisis. I would think that the South South people should sit down and say, look, you can't do this to us. You cannot recognize who is the chief or your majesty in our area. We will tell you. So it's not you. And I know someone of your status, of your stature, with the experience you have, nobody can tell you anything. You, you, nobody. Nobody. So, in fact, the matter of fact, even if you, you, have not, you have not gone anywhere, the matter of fact that you are the upper of uh, Benin is enough for people to know, look, oh, don't go there. Oh, you know. So I, 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 I thank you for coming, and I can assure you that we we'll work together with my brothers and the traditional rulers to move the institution, to make it strong. We are not competing. I've always told you we are not competing. We are elected as governors. You had the traditional uh, institution. Without traditional institution, it would be difficult for us. So we need the support of the traditional uh, institution to move forward. And I want to thank you for what you are doing in those states. But to create your indulgence, don't allow it to, to, to this great with the political thing going on, please. I know you are not a politician, but you have experience. Uh, there's no way when you see two brothers are fighting, they will find a way to resolve so that it will not affect the good or the interest of a do uh, state. Whether we like it or not, if anything happens to one state in the south side, it happens to the other uh, states. So who wants that unity to be there? But I have a good relationship. Your governor also married, he says, in law, he married our daughter. I think I had one name here. Ah, he, he also married our daughter. He said, I didn't know he's a sensational book. Ah, he married the Caribbean wife's um, uh, daughter. So you see, uh, you people are also owing us. <laughs> that, was, that was always not. So we, we, we were very, very uh, 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 grateful. And I want to thank you for your compliments, 
yeah, 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 encouragement on us. We'll continue to do the best. We'll continue to do, we'll not let you down. We'll make sure that anytime you need us, we'll be available. The state government will give you all the necessary support. I'm not uh, surprised about how about, uh, uh, we will, like you said, those who, who trace their history to the ancient uh, Benin uh, kingdom. Everybody has its own roots. Everybody has where to trace its own uh, where it comes from. Uh, we are not, we didn't fall from heaven, no, like we do the one. As we said, we, we can trace it. <laughs> so, that's how this is. So, we are very grateful, and I can assure you that. Um,
on the news I take special interest some of the uh, you're one of the, of the of the governors in Nigeria that I take special interest in listening to every word that you say so, <laughs> and uh, we have been uh, keeping abreast with your progress we have been uh, watching how things have been going on in River State. Uh, we are delighted to be here today. Your Excellency, Ipalibo Hari Banigo, Madam, DSSRS, Deputy Governor of River State. His Majesty King Dandison Douglas Jaja, Jackie VJP Treaty King Amayanabo of Opobo, and Chairman River State Council of Traditional Rulers. Members of the State Executive Council, Special Advisors to the Governor, Gentlemen of the Press, Ladies and Gentlemen, Your Excellency, I am delighted to be here in Port Harcourt today in continuation of my thank you visit after my coronation. Although the coronation took place in 2016, there have been things, domestic matters affecting the kingdom that I had to grapple with immediately upon ascension to the throne. I will not bother you with details of, of these things, but uh, be rest assured that they were very, very important things that were almost touching on the very moral fiber of our society in Benin. Uh, specifically, the issue of uh, what they refer to as the CDA, Community Development Association, which was turning the culture of Benin upside down, turning the culture of Africa upside down, because things I heard, things that were going on there, when I was even in Rome, serving in Rome, they are, they are not African, and uh, we thought, we should not be, we should not be uh, the ones that will be obtaining African tradition of respect and tradition for elders. Uh, by the time I got back and uh, I, was, I was given this, the responsibility, bestowed the responsibility by the ancestors to, uh, to handle the affairs of the kingdom, one of the first, very first things I had to tackle was to correct this uh, anomaly in the kingdom. I immediately grabbed the bull by the horn to say enough is enough. I've never seen where children or youth <coughs> rule over elders and tell elders what to do. Uh, otherwise, the, the, the father structure, paternity, and all that is in the, in the, in the, in the garbage can. Well, we thank God we have 
we have been able to succeed in, uh, in solving all that. I want to thank our state government for supporting my pronouncement at that time. The state governor immediately passed a law to support it, to give it a lot of teeth to do the job. And it's still work in progress as we, as we speak. And of course, the other issue you might have heard of has uh, been the human trafficking issue. We are still working on that. Uh, by the grace of God, we shall uh, overcome a lot of these antisocial uh, practices in the kingdom. We give glory to God Almighty and our ancestors for the safe journey to Port Harcourt and for meeting everyone here in good health. I'm here in Port Harcourt for three main reasons, Your Excellency. Firstly, following the full step of my father who came on a thank you tour after his coronation, I was also with him to Port Harcourt. That was the time when the military governor was here. I remember, I recall uh, with a lot of nostalgia how we were invited to Nembe by the Amaya number of Nembe at the time. was a close friend of my father. And uh, we were told that um, uh, it, we would go by, the, by, it was by river at the time. I understand there's a road now, very good road to Nembe. Uh, the, the governor kindly gave us his boat. And uh, we were promptly informed that it takes only three hours to name it, and we will surely be back by evening time. So we, we got ready, took nothing, <laughs> no toothbrush, no toothpaste, nothing, and uh, no change of clothes, <laughs> and uh, we embarked on the journey. Midway, the captain of the boat informed everybody that no, that information was wrong. It was going to take about nine hours or so to get there. And we couldn't turn back to get any change of uh, uh, clothes or anything like that. So we proceeded. And there, at the end of the day, we got to Nembe in the night. In the night, almost missing the regatta. Beautiful regatta that was set up. We still, we still had the opportunity to see it. We saw it in the night. Anyway, it was still a beautiful sight. I, I recall that very, very, very clearly. Um, we also are happy to be here, particularly in Port Harcourt, because also my father's public service in Ahoda many years ago. You were all, I'm sure you are all uh, familiar with that. Secondly, Your Excellency, is to strengthen the, the friendly relationship and close affinity of our people. History has it that, and as uh, His Majesty mentioned, that some of the ethnic groups here in River State trace their origin uh, to Benin. I'm sure His Excellency as well. <laughs> This includes, amongst others, the Iquiris, the people of Ahoda and Omoku. Some of these people were at the airport yesterday and uh, gave us a wonderful reception, very wonderful reception. In fact, they forgot I have just arrived and we are proceeding to the, uh, to the State House they almost didn't want me to leave the airport because <laughs> they were dancing, they were dancing and singing and, and and so on and so forth. They were very, very, very overwhelmed. They were happy. Thirdly, Your Excellency, is to meet with South South Monarchs. In South South Monarchs Forum, who were present at my coronation and um, have sent invitations. For me to visit so that we can share ideas on ways of strengthening the traditional institutions in Nigeria and ensure the
the development and the well-being of our people. We uh, would like to use this opportunity of this visit to appreciate the cordial relationship between the governor of Edo, of, of Edo State and the governor of River State. I'm aware that you have been communicating very closely before my arrival, and uh, we have seen all the signs. I thank you, I thank the governor of Edo State and the governor of River State on behalf of uh, my chiefs here, members of the royal family that are here, two of my baby brothers that are here. We are all uh, appreciative of the reception, the hospitality we have been enjoying already. We also thank His Excellency, not only for the hospitality, but also for supporting and making this visit a huge success, and also for providing the enabling environment for Edo people in River State to conduct their businesses and make their contributions in the development of River State. I believe some members of the uh, indigenous in River State are here. Uh, finally, Your Excellency, we use this opportunity of this visit to encourage all our people that have traced their ancestry to Benin to endeavor to join us in the celebration of our annual Igwe festival and receive the blessings of doing so. As you might already be aware, I'm doing my best to, uh, to, to, to be all inclusive in this festival. We do not want to make it look as if it's a, it's a Bini affair or it's a local affair, or it's, it's not supposed to be like, so we want to expand it. We are doing our best to expand it to make it a, a global affair. Igwe Festival should be a global affair. It's, uh, it's a festival of prayers. It's a festival of blessings to homes, to everybody. There is nothing idolatry about it. So we would like to be inviting members of uh, uh, the, the, the state government, uh, Your Excellency, and in the indigenous uh, river state people uh, to our festivals from time to time, regularly. I thank you very much, Your Excellency. I thank everybody for listening, for your patience, and for gathering here today to receive all of us. Thank you. Herbert, <laughs> your good friend Herbert Wigwe is also an Equerryman, correct? Um, he has been very supportive of the, of the palace institution in Benin. I want to say that openly. I want to say that publicly. Uh, we are very delighted to have him with me. We are very, we are very happy that uh, he's, uh, he's already making good his commitments, his promises, and uh, he's standing by the institution of Benin very, very strongly. So I wanted you to know that. Thank you very much. God bless him.